All right, people. So it's time to get serious about finishing up our low poly animal illustrations. Uh, so we're trying to get to about this point where we have large, medium, and small shapes on separate layers in the layers palette. So you can, you know, turn off the large, you can turn off the medium, and then the small shapes is what I'm going to show you today. Um, so let's just jump over to one that's not really finished. And you can see I already have my large shapes. And right here, they cover the whole animal, so there's no gaps. And I have my medium shapes that have the little gaps. And when you put them together, it looks pretty nice, just like this. So um, we really want to just uh, pull out a little bit of detail, especially like around the face, and just get some smaller shapes in there. So what we do is make sure that, you know, these are grouped, where you have mediums on a group and large on a group. You know, the group buttons are up here. Um, or it's Command G when you select uh, all the shapes. So what you're going to end up doing is just turning off the visibility of those medium and small sized shapes, or excuse me, large and medium sized shapes, and turn back on your reference image, and then just zoom in a little bit. That's the keyboard shortcuts, the spacebar, and Command or Control. Um, so you can see a little bit better. And like I said, focus on the face, the eyes, uh, this is, you know, the head is really the detail area, um, that you want to get to. So, um, zoom in a little bit and, uh, you know, do the same thing just with smaller shapes, use the pen or the pen tool and click shapes. Delete the border. Oops. So, so you have the select the border, delete the border, and then uh, oops, turn the visibility off and hit the color picker and pick a color that's within that shape. So again, you can uh, leave gaps, especially since you did all that work with the large shapes, and those large shapes will just fill in those gaps. And you just keep going and you keep doing this. So the trick is to find balance between the size of the shapes and your kind of level of patience. If you zoom in and end up making really teeny tiny small shapes, then it's going to uh, take a lot longer and it'll probably get you kind of frustrated. And you may not even really see all those teeny tiny small shapes when you zoom back out. So I suggest um, kind of watching yourself and not zooming in like crazy, but maybe only zooming in to like, what am I at, like 300% up here. Um, I mean, you can go a little bit quicker, so 400%. Um, and yeah, just follow the lines around details or changes of color in your animal's face. Spend a little bit of extra time on, you know, the eyes. Make a shape, turn the visibility off, and then sample a color, and keep going. So again, it's finding balance between the size of the shape and the detail that you can get out of it and your patience because you can end up zooming in really far and getting like really teeny tiny small shapes that'll just take forever. Um, so here, let me show you another one that I did. Um, so this is kind of a good example of I wasn't thinking. And when I was making my small shapes, I started, you know, I zoomed in really, really small and I started doing these really teeny tiny small shapes, but it takes a really long time and you're not even really going to see a whole lot of that detail when you zoom back out. Um, so I stopped doing this just because I realized that I was making my shapes too small. Let me see the shark is right here. Um, I ended up having with the medium and large on the same layer in this one. But you can tell um, without these small shapes, I don't have the eye. I didn't even have, you know, the teeth. So I went back in and I zoomed in a bunch and then turned off my medium layer or my medium shapes and put that st a stock photo back on and just 
went through and made a bunch of medium sized shapes. You can layer them like I kind of did here if you want. Um, but that's basically the process. I'll switch back to here and show you one more time what like the final kind of looks like. So again, we have, you know, small, medium, large on layers in the layers palette. Small should be on top, medium should be in the middle, large should be on the bottom, and then your reference image should be last, but you should turn it off before you save it as a JPEG. Uh, another quick tip is every time you make like 10 shapes, just hit the save button up here. You know, it's super frustrating if the program crashes or something happens and you accidentally like close out of the tab. Um, just save as, as much as you can. You can go and make like 10 shapes, 15 shapes, and then just hit save. Um, that's about it. Let me know if you have questions. If it starts to lag, I can give you a couple little tips to um, like uh, clean up the image. But um, this is the whole process of so just zoom in. What am I? I'm at 800 now. So just be careful you don't zoom in all the way uh, because that is a kind of a mistake and can cost you a lot of time if you end up making your shapes too small. So you just have to find balance the size of the shapes. They're just a little bit smaller than your medium sized shapes. You're not going to get it super detailed. It's not supposed to be super detailed, but it is worth a little bit of time just to make some smaller shapes and get a nicer kind of head with a little bit more detail. All right, hope this helps. Hope you have fun. Let me know if you have questions.